Hey, what's up everybody? Armin69 here, which is aka Maxwell Studios here, and today we're going to be teaching you how to create 3D animation logos using the Aurora 3D Animation Maker. So this is going to be a simple tutorial for you guys. So first we're going to go to open up Aurora 3D Animation Maker. There it goes. Um, please select Tempa. We can close that off. All right. So we have our template right here. So first, we're going to add a template for a uh, thing thing magic for our text. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to go to style, and now we're going to scroll down and find. Oh wait, actually, um, first what we're going to do is we're going to click on this. Um, uh, square th uh, thing right here click on that and we'll scale I'm gonna scale it up to here and that's how you do it right here I'm gonna create the I'm gonna already made a Maxlin video I mean I already made a I already made a Maxlin Studios logo already but um, I'm just doing this a uh, test on uh, tutorial just for the tutorial video I'm just doing this extra uh, test one just for the tutorial video alright so first you have our template right here from this icon right here which is add round rect alright and if you want to make those edges a lot bit thicker or thinner all you need to do what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on that and you're gonna just click and move like that and, and unclick and, and click right here and just keep doing that just like that and it makes it it makes those edges a lot thicker right here and if you want to make this light blue change the color you go back to style you go to style and we click a, each template right here you want I'm just gonna choose this template there it is it works right here there it is Alright, next what we're gonna do is we're gonna add a text for our, the logo right here. So for, so next we're going to go to the add text icon right here. 3D text. Now we're gonna next we're gonna double click on it and we're gonna type in or name it what what logo you want it to be named as. I'm just gonna name it Maxlin. And you're gonna go change the font. Go to that icon right here to change font. Or you, or you can either type in a font correct font uh, thing. Type or type in your whatever font you want for your logo. All right. So we have Max. All right. So we have it right here. And to edit this a little bit more. All right. There we go. And then to edit this a little bit more, just go to this more icon and and if you want to make those characters and you want to make those spaces in closer you go to character space and you just scale like that into right here and that's how you scale it now to close it just, just get out of there and here it is works works perfectly fine and if it's too big if you want to scale it down just Go to that text scale and just scale it down just on that change text size icon. Alright. 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 Right here. Alright. And to change the template of this 3D logo as well, you're going to go to that text message for style and you can choose where the T's are, the template and you're gonna choose and you can choose which type you want for mine I'm gonna for my test for the tutorial I'm just gonna choose that one works perfectly fine nothing wrong with it alright right here alright and to create the animation I'm gonna I'm gonna tell you the step for tutorial it's a little bit difficult for some of you but for you if you know it uh, if you know some of it, then I'll just tell you a little bit. Whatever. Alright. Alright, now we're going to do the animation of this logo. 
All right, so first we're going to we're just going to scroll this animation bar down right here. We're going to click on this add button for add the key down. And next, um, what you're going to do is you're going to go back to the beginning. And now, since we have that over, all right, now you can scale logo with this rotator move thing over what type of scale you want it to be lab labeled or whatever. All right, and now you're going to, and, and to scale this closer, you're going to go to this move note thing right here, thing we do right here, and it scales it out. And it scales it out like that. Yep, works like that. Works perfectly good. And now we now we're gonna edit the now we're gonna edit the template right here, which we created for our background uh, rectangular template. All right. For that template, we're gonna next. We're gonna do for that one as well as the other one. Do the same thing. Add the key there. All right. Change the animation to it. Just like that. Let's see if it works. Not bad. So as you can see, the animation here works perfectly good. See? Animation works perfectly fine. And it's in the correct position way, right here. And as you can see, it works not bad. All right. And to do a background, uh, or for, for your background logo, is click on the background icon and just choose and to choose which image from the desktop or from your files or whatever just go to image and you can simply choose what type of file you want for mine I'm just going to choose this image works good and next what we're going to do now since we got the, this all set now and now to export the animation is go to this export icon and click on export animation and this export size is at 10 24 to 5 66 pixels so to change that to 1920 to 1080 we're just going to click on change I'm going to change the width from 10 I want to change it to 1920 and this we're going to change it to 1080 oh, there we go there we go there we go now when you're done that click OK then just in quality just click on software high quality click OK now you need to make it as video we'll leave all this alone now we're gonna click OK now it's asking to save the video file now we're gonna just gonna save the desktop we're gonna save it yep just like that All right, now we're going to name it. Um, we're gonna name. I'm just gonna name it logo. Uh, I'll name it logo. And when you're done that, click save. And this is gonna take a while while it while it mixes the animation, while it renders the animation. So when this process is done, um, I'm gonna. Just get back to the video when this is possibly done.
Okay, so the export is already done. So since that export is already done, we're going to click OK. And it shows you where it is, basically. So we can, you know, we click, now you can save it, whatever. I'm just going to not save it because it's just a tutorial. You can save it, whatever, if you want to do, whatever. All right. All right, so there's, okay, so, all right. Um, here's, here's the logo right here. Okay, here is the animation logo that we just created, the video, right here. Okay, let's open it up and let's see if it works. It's gonna load for a second. Not bad. Works perfectly good. See, look. High quality works perfectly good. Not too bad. Works pretty much good. All right, so, all right, so thanks for watching. Um, I hope that helped all out. So, so just um, subscribe. Th so just likes, thumbs up, thumbs down, subscribe, all that jazz. Uh, thank you for watching folks and I mean everybody uh, and I'll catch you guys later